Log recording. Eight, uh, 6.40 in the morning, Pacific Standard Time. <laughs> it's uh, July 4th. Oh, my God, did I have to mention that date, didn't I? July 4th of 2023. It is Tuesday. Well, we're going to look at it in one particular way. We are an armed, well, an early established nation of descendants of the armed colonists who had no choice but to kick out all King George's representations. This hasn't been a good time for us descendants. Since when it hasn't been for the United States of America going through its own issues left and right. And it drives them crazy. It does. I mean, <coughs> we got more political intrigue right now as it is. Last night, they did do the fireworks up until midnight. Then they ceased. But it was sporadic here. And yes, we did have the neighborhood hoodlums doing their job. Oh, well. This morning, I'm not feeling very patriotic on a patriotic day that I'm supposed to feel part of. No, because what I'm feeling right now is a disconnection from my country, from the theoretical ideals, and not to mention from the ghosts that are shaking their heads in disgust, <coughs> wondering just how we're going to be able to get through days like this and weeks, in the, uh, weeks down the road. Just how are we supposed to represent our country, our values, our way of life? We can shove the red, white, and blue people's faces and say, You must. You must. I must what? Being a rebellious nature that I am on some occasions. And I don't play well with others. I'm usually sitting on the sidelines. But at this point, in a presidential candidate show-off, we got one particular theoretical Trumplicant who wants to kill people. If you're coming across the border, you got drugs, you're going to die, period. It's an automatic death sentence. <coughs> Screw putting him into... Processing or just kick him out of the damn country it would have been simpler, easier. No. An authoritative little. I dare use it. Okay, we'll use the easier tone. Fascist. An elected fascist into a state government that he was supposed to be running, but he's running for federal right now and he's throwing all these cliches at people, and one of them was death. How do you sell this to regular GOP folk? Because right now, oh, how about this one? How about a Gallup pro, a Gallup poll, extremely proud to be American, 39%. Back in 2007, we had 74%. And now, as it gets on life, we're ashamed to be Americans. Seba four Roman Empire. Roman Empire. We have turned ourselves into the Roman Empire. It's no wonder why I did the videos in the first place. I was going to be pissed off, and, I, and it's not going to be pissed off. I am pissed off. That when I have political candidates saying that Kill people when they come over the border. They may be suspected drug smugglers. And if they are drug smugglers, kill them. Ron DeSanctis, oh, I'm sorry, Sanctimonious. The one guy in Florida that Florida really screwed up on for a second term made all these laws that curtailed a lot of their freedoms and, and freedoms. Uh, uh, their rights and their freedoms. My God, I'm going crazy at this one. 
I'm glad to redo this video because this one really sucks because I'm not... Mm.